Have you ever dreamed of becoming a creator? Breaking free from the consumer mindset, sharing your passions with the world and making a name for yourself, learning the secrets behind success, the secrets behind financial freedom, learning what they didn't teach you in school, learning how to make money doing what you love, learning how to turn your dreams into a reality. Well, for just tens, hundreds, or even thousands of dollars, your favorite online personalities can help you do just that. They'll give you the key to success, mentor you on becoming a millionaire, and unlock your full potential. And these aren't just some get-rich-quick schemes. You're going to learn how to start, run, and maintain a thriving creative brand. You're not just going to make money. You're going to make a name, fortune, fame, success, all with a little bit of hard work and these expertly crafted roadmaps. What I'm about to tell you is an estimated $10,000 of information. My only question to you is, was it worth it? It always starts the same. You're scrolling through YouTube or Twitter looking for something to consume, and then you see it. A tantalizing promise of success, or better yet, a glowing testimonial attached to a referral link and some intriguing spreadsheet numbers. You watch it, you're intrigued, and before you know it, you're hooked. Online courses promising such things are usually scams. You've seen that before. But this one feels real. These people are real. These testimonials are provable. This one feels different. One look at their website and it's even more alluring. You're being taught by millionaires in their field, YouTubers and social media icons who have reputations they have to live up to, not somebody you've just met for the first time. Reputations that would be ruined by selling bullshit courses and false promises. The most well-known of these courses is by far the real world. Formerly known as Hustlers University, this course founded by Andrew Tate has taken over Twitter. Every day there's new threads trying to expose it as a scam, with an equal amount of replies and testimonials trying to prove that it's not. Based Based on the relatively low entry price and the discussion around the course being mostly influenced by personal thoughts on its creator, I decided the real world would be the first course that I took. Up until this point, the only online courses I've taken have been networking and security courses I've taken to get different certifications. All of these courses are pretty straightforward. The real world is not. It's not even a course. It's a series of courses all hosted on a site that's basically a Discord reskin. I joined in an effort to take his personal branding course. I went to sign up and pay for the program, but was met with a chatbot acting like a bridge troll trying to get me to use their referral link. After I entered, I was told that the personal branding course could only be taken after I completed one of the more prominent courses, and that after I completed one of those, I'd have to get a personal recommendation from one of the quote unquote coaches to get into personal branding. So I decided to take every course. But before I could begin my hustler journey, I glanced at the chat where I saw this message. As you can expect, this call for help was largely ignored. I decided to begin by taking the bread and butter of Hustlers University, the Business Mastery course. The setup is relatively simple. For the first module, you have Andrew Tate screaming personal anecdotes at a whiteboard, and this man who looks like he stepped out of a Succession episode giving commentary on Tate's videos. I really understood why people get so wrapped up in attacking or defending Tate. In the videos, he's incredibly blunt, sometimes crude. Oh, he called me a loser. You are a fucking loser. But what he's saying is fairly accurate. He's often a counter view to the common idea that business is only for the rich or well-educated. But the issue is, none of what he's saying is particularly new or unique outside of his personal anecdotes. The main themes are don't waste time, never compete on price, sell to your established fan base, build a reputation and then increase prices, sell the need not the want, sell the result not the product, and remain consistent. The only real unique points he gives are somewhat unethical and arguably detrimental to anybody looking to start an actual business, such as get attention by any means necessary, business hacks like giving customers customers their money back and upselling them later for a different product, and hire your teenage family members and underpay them. But the real point I want to highlight is one that I think perfectly reflects this course, and that's don't get legal before you get rich. While it might be common knowledge, Tate presents it in a way that seems revolutionary, saying this is something that nobody else does, giving examples of people paying for LLC filings and lawyers before even making a sale. This might seem like Tate's really trying to help me. He's given us the low down details, when in actuality, this is just how most businesses start. The following modules consist of Arno, the commentator, going further into depth and offering some business philosophy more so than actual tactics. But honestly, I find his commentary, while essentially just rehashing points, the most beneficial out of every module on this website. That's because most of these courses are dog shit. They're filler. The copywriting course is the only one that's somewhat decent after the first two modules, but who the fuck wants to learn copywriting? The stock market course you've already taken if you've ever used Robinhood or read a single post on Wall Street Bets. The crypto course, while worthless, is funny because Andrew makes a habit of routinely shitting on people like the coach that runs it. Crypto as a skill, it will take months, not hours. Don't be lazy. A bunch of dorks have bought into a coin 
and they're trying to dump on each other all day while in a telegram group talking about community. <laughs> Fucking scam! People come into the crypto space thinking that they can spend $100 on a picture of a monkey and then flip it next week for $100,000. All the professors and the students in this university managed to take advantage of that. I have nothing to do with any cryptos whatsoever and I'll tell you why. If they say I have anything to do with it, they are fucking lying. Anyone who says I have anything to do with any crypto is fucking lying. It is always a scam. The fitness course isn't even really a course. It's just a workout routine with a set of video examples. The NFT course I couldn't be paid to take. And the e-commerce course is basically dropshipping and Shopify for dummies with an extra bit on registering domain names and setting up an LLC in Wyoming. It seems to be the most popular. And it's also the only main course that's led by somebody you can't find on social media. This guy is basically invisible. He claims to have made 3.7 million through dropshipping. But the fact he's non-existent outside of this course made me think that was probably bullshit. So I tried my best to find any information on him to back up his claims. I mean, after all, he's supposed to be my coach. I found a couple Reddit posts also questioning his background, but nobody seems to know whether or not he's legit. But I'm pretty good at recon work, so he wasn't particularly hard to find. And after some deep diving, I managed to not only find his full name, but his Amazon dropshipping business, where he focused on selling boxing hoodies and nose rings and has a grand total of three reviews, two negative. Now, of course, he could be using other sites. So I went ahead and found his business filings. In January of 2021, he founded a limited company under the same brand name as the Amazon hoodies. In December, he filed to change the name of this company for reasons we can only assume. And under the new brand name, he pivoted to selling weight loss and diet books. And less than four months later, in March of 2022, he officially striked off or closed his business. And according to his final and only business audit, he made a grand total of zero dollars. Maybe he did make 3.7 million working under somebody else, but you also have to note that if that is true, then his own business made zero dollars and he's teaching you how to become a millionaire by starting your own business. And he also broke Tate's golden rule. Don't get legal before you get rich. I think by now you get the gist of what you're paying for. Anything and everything besides some of the Arno and Tate anecdotes you can easily find on YouTube or Reddit faster than it would take to sign up for this website. Now I would still recommend this course to anybody looking to get into business that is also illiterate. If that's you, then yeah, it's probably worth the $50. Otherwise, it's probably better spending a fifth of that on an actual business book. But what you're really paying for here is the network and more importantly, the affiliate program. You see, if you can convince just five people to sign up using your link, you won't just make the money on the course back, you'll make a profit. This is the main selling point that many members online you see promoting this site. And this isn't just limited to Andrew Tate. Almost every online course has a program like this. They're essentially functioning as triangles of information where they incentivize positive reviews and promotion through their referral program, which is why you rarely see any negative reviews of almost any online courses. After not learning much from the real world and finding out that the personal branding course had been turned into a public speaking course, I decided to try something that would be more beneficial to my creative endeavors. Welcome to the Creativity Kit. For the unfamiliar, Sneeko is basically Andrew Tate's protege. He's essentially Tate Jr., copying his philosophy, religion, hand gestures, and courses. I wanna preface this by saying I was actually a fan of his. I watched his videos before he even hit 10,000 subscribers. I watched his podcast and even talked to him a few times on Skype. I stopped watching YouTube for the most part after high school, so I kinda just forgot about him. But he's since gotten very popular, gotten banned, and I don't think he makes videos anymore, just live streams on Rumble. But from the videos I've managed to find of his, they've all been very good. Good. So I figured what better course to take than this one. The course starts off with Sneeko ranting about being comfortable in front of a camera and staying focused. Then he gives a handful of basic tips like look for trends, TikTok's the future, ignore your mom, and write down your thoughts in a journal. In the corner of the screen, there's this constant dinosaur jumping up and down. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the Twitch TV subscriber notification, which means that this lecture is just a fucking clip he live streamed publicly and then cut up and put in his $50 a month course. After almost an hour of this and little to no useful information, he hands the course off to his editor, Musa, who spends 53 minutes talking about the TikTok algorithm, freelancing, and dropshipping. And to his credit, Musa is very knowledgeable about TikTok, and if your goal is to go viral on TikTok, then maybe this course is worth the $50. But I'm not interested in using TikTok to sell some AliExpress item. He spends another six minutes sharing some giveaway promotional tactic. He spends 11 minutes telling you to copy Mr. B's thumbnails. It takes him seven and a half minutes to explain a story sequence. He loses a shirt, the quality nose dives. Andrew Tate gave us lectures from Christopher Nolan side characters, chain smoking cigars, Sneeko's man can't 
can't even stay awake. The rest is just stupid bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Go to Delaware, create an LLC. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. And then we get to the bonus videos. Another one of Sneeko's editors pops in and gives a 12 minute rundown on his editing ideology. It's basically a quick cut on how to do things like making montages, panning, audio effects. And like everything else, it's very basic information, but it's actually decent. There's a side crypto course by someone that claims to make $3 million a month and yet somehow thought Sneeko paying him for this course was a better use of his time. And then we have Jordan Welch. Jordan's segment is about how he made $2 million through YouTube. I actually helped build the creativity kit with Sneeko and I have my own YouTube channel, which has generated me over $2 million at the age of 24. We've done $361,800 in AdSense revenue, but this is actually not the biggest stream of income from my channel. This is some earnings from the digital product that I created and sell on my YouTube channel. If you take a look right here, it's basically for people that want to go ahead and start their own Shopify store. So After Sneeko's course, I took a quick look into Jake Tran's financial slavery masterclass. Jake Tran does business videos, and this course is basically four hours of business videos on how slavery is used worldwide, and you have to be morally bankrupt to make any substantial amount of money ever. He promises to show you how to profit off of slavery. The course dives into specific uses of slavery and then ends with start affiliate marketing and buy Apple stock because they use slaves. Yeah, that's it. That's $300. You're welcome. After the past few courses, I decided I needed to look into a more serious, creator-focused, non-controversial course that could help me here on YouTube, because at the end of the day, these are the courses targeting creators more than anything. What I found astounded me. I've seen videos like these pop up, and I'm sure you have too. YouTube growth hacks, how to grow a channel in 2023, how to stand out on YouTube, etc. But these aren't videos from well-known YouTubers trying to help out others. These are entire channels dedicated to making videos about making videos. We've all heard the saying during a gold rush, sell shovels, but they're not just selling shovels. They're selling the map on where to find gold, the book on how to mine gold, the book on how to refine gold, and they've never done any of these things themselves. And ironically, they've actually gotten pretty successful refining this formula. It's become so common to see these videos, you probably don't even think twice about it, but it's essentially dumbing down the art form of video creation. It would be like me, somebody who's never written a fucking book in their life, writing a book on how to become a best-selling author. And then that book becomes a New York Times bestseller. Would you read that book? Would you take any of the advice in it? If you're looking into becoming an author, probably not. And that's because much like these creators, I wouldn't be targeting readers. I'd be targeting writers. Unless you plan on starting a channel that's also dedicated to growing on YouTube, their experience is almost entirely useless. And I'm not gonna knock the hustle. You know, if it just ended here, I wouldn't even mention them, but it doesn't end here. Their channels are just fronts to promote their courses. Film Booth, a channel with 300,000 subscribers, has a couple courses on their site. For starters, they have an $800 course on how to make better thumbnails. This creates an interesting dynamic, because for this course to have any value whatsoever, they must not have already shared this knowledge publicly on their channel. But then that means that the videos they have dedicated to thumbnails must not be the best advice they can give, because for that, you have to pay $800. They also have a free 20-minute course that immediately upsells you to a $4,000 course on everything you need to succeed on YouTube in just 10 weeks. Almost every YouTube guru has free courses like these. A much more recognizable channel like Think Media has a free course they live stream once a week. In the course, the host Sean Cannell spends 40 minutes giving you a basic background, spends a few minutes teasing this 7R formula, tells you that subscribers don't matter anymore, it's all about the views, and then ironically share some success stories about creators that have blown up in subscribers but don't get many views. And then he pivots this course into selling Video Wrecking Academy, their $4,000 course that for a limited time, you can get for 12 payments of $97. They have this limited time deal every week. And if you buy this course, you can get access to their 7R formula. The same 7R formula that they posted publicly on their channel five months ago. But Sean assures you that this course is 20 to 50 times worth the asking price. Guarantees you make the money back and insinuates that it's a better investment than going to college. It's actually the worst course I've ever fucking taken. The entire course pushes this ideology of making videos on sellable products. You Utilizing affiliate marketing and out of the little advice it does give, it's entirely surface level and at times outdated. Sean goes into depth talking about the need for harvesting an email list, tells you to search YouTube to find video ideas, gives spammy promotional tactics, and constantly rehashes the need for affiliate marketing and sponsorships. This isn't a course on how to become a YouTuber or even how to market your videos. This is how to become a salesman for Amazon products. Video Ranking Academy essentially just wants to turn you into another product review channel that churns out videos daily and hopes that one does well. It's 
absolutely not what I was looking for. So for my final course, I decided to indulge myself in Ali Abdal's part-time YouTuber Academy. Ali is a YouTuber that has basically popularized what I like to call the productivity cult. Almost every channel you see centered around productivity is influenced directly by Ali. From the topic, style, thumbnails, and constant notion references, it's clear he's carved this genre out almost single-handedly. Productivity in itself is a very toxic subgenre on the YouTube circuit. It's essentially nerdified and systematized the hustle culture that people like Andrew Tate promote. Ali himself has produced videos and courses on how to sleep productively, how to cook productively, how to watch TV productively, which features him fast forwarding through the slow parts of film at 3.5 times speed because it's not important. But he has essentially made a living finding his own blue ocean in the YouTube sphere. So I figured why not give his advice a try. If you can get these three things right, then you're completely off to the races and your channel will explode and you'll become a millionaire. That sounds great. So in the video, he breaks down the three things as get going, get good enough, and get smart. He eventually breaks these down into like 15 different things you need to get good at. And as expected, these videos are basically made just to upsell you. So I call this framework the part-time YouTuber blueprint because my course is called the part-time YouTuber Academy. And I've taught this system to more than 2,300 students over the last three years. I have another course about this. It's completely free on Skillshare or it's included for free as part of my part-time YouTuber Academy. If you want, that'll be linked down below as well. That's exactly what we teach on my part-time YouTuber Academy. Part-time YouTuber Academy, part-time YouTuber, free seven-day email course. Sign up to my YouTube part-time YouTuber mailing list. Now, this is a big thing that we teach on our course, the part-time YouTuber Academy, a part-time YouTuber Academy, link in the video description. For just $2,000 or $5,000, you can join this course. And to his credit, he does offer what he calls scholarships for a select few that can't afford it. On its homepage, PTYA features a lot of success stories, many of which are also productivity YouTubers. A few others that were already doing pretty well before taking his course and a few that are doing pretty terrible view wise because they've grown a fan base from TikTok and then tried to transition over. He still labels these as success stories. The only non-productivity YouTuber that seems to have actually benefited from this course is John Coogan. And maybe he has, but John Coogan is also the multi-millionaire co-founder of Soylent and Lucy. So I'm not too sure if this one course can really claim his success or should inspire you to take this course as many of us don't have millions to play around with. With. But nevertheless, I took PTYA and it actually gave me the key to success. It gave me something I have not found in any other courses and something that I would like to share with you free of charge. So PTYA is broken down into weeks. Week one is how to succeed on YouTube, getting gear. Week two is defining your niche, etc. All of the advice given is common sense. This is actually a point Ali makes during his first week. He makes it clear that you should be trying to sell common sense. What you think is common knowledge might not be. And that's exactly what he's doing here. Ali is actually pretty open about how useless his course is to anybody that knows how to use Google. If you don't know anything at all about literally how to hold a camera, how to hold a phone, how to edit a video, how to make a thumbnail, how to start a YouTube channel, then there's loads of free content available on YouTube. Anyway, there is absolutely nothing I teach on my course that you can't find out on the internet anyway. Check out the Video Creators podcast, check out the Video Creators YouTube channel, check out Think Media, they've got a fantastic- The main themes of PTYA are stay consistent, post at least one video a week, look at YouTube as a business, nobody cares about your first 100 videos, make thumbnails pop, focus on background music, which actually is a great point that I rarely see anybody bring up, so kudos to Ali. Focus on values, visuals, and icons. LinkedIn is for corporate slaves. Windows and Android users are the devil. And start a mailing list. That is $2,000 worth of information. But you're forgetting that when you pay this fee, you're also getting access to the pointless group think tanks and of course the golden ticket referral program that you can utilize by joining the legions of other members posting PTYA review videos, almost all of which have been been extremely unsuccessful, but nevertheless, they still recommend this course. Now, what is the key to success that I found? After my fifth hour of mindlessly listening to Ali drone on about Notion at 3.5 times speed, I realized that the key to success isn't success. It isn't becoming a YouTuber or affiliate marketing. No, the key to success is becoming a creator a creator of courses. You see, Ali made $4.6 million in 2022. Do you want to guess how much of that was made purely off the courses he produces? Did you guess half? $2,716,395 or 59% of all of his income. I imagine the numbers are pretty similar to every creator I've talked about so far. Now, I'm not going to sell you any course or get you to use my referral links, utilizing the skills that I've learned during my stint at Evil University and making my piracy video. I have downloaded and hosted every course that I've talked about today in full so you can judge them all firsthand. If you want to get access to all of these courses and potentially make videos on things that interest like myself, go to thingsthatinterest.com where you can view them all entirely for free. And if any of these course creators have any issues with me doing this, please contact my lawyer, Jake Tran.